Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's World. Happy New Year to all my biker brothers and sisters, all of you. Surprise, surprise. Dino Bai gets another bike into his stable. Say welcome to ST, also known as Sabertooth. This is the MY, manufacture year 2024, Z900. And I just bought it straight out of the blue because a friend was in a hurry to get rid of it. And I thought, what better deal? Just 2000 kilometers ridden, hardly two months old. And I just picked it up and uh, what a way to start this year. Busa is still there and uh, so is the ST and uh, today we're going to feature this bike which I think still is the ultimate inline 4 proposition that you can buy in our market when it comes to value for money. Nothing beats the Z900 and nothing even comes close. Why? Here are the answers. So starting with the design, we have the age-old Sugomi aggressive styling that uh, defines the Z bloodline. Aggressive, sharp, edgy styling and I call it the saber tooth because you can see the DRLs sticking out here, giving it the face of a menacing predator ready to pounce on its prey. And uh, LED lighting all around, that's a welcome addition when compared to the first gen uh, Z. This one looks far more aggressive. And kind of reminds us of their flagship uh, Naked or the flagship Z, the ZH2 as well. LED turn blinkers, LED lighting, LED tail lamp as well with the Z signature. And uh, this matte black styling really, really elevates the Sugomi styling and takes it to another level. Green uh, alloys and uh, complete black panels really, really uh, makes you feel that it has that... Uh, uh, the Hulk serum being instilled into this naked beast. That's what I feel. Nice bulky tank with tank sh shrouds extended and a 17 litre tank to offer adequate tank range. The seat is again very well cushioned, very good quality foam. And when you sit on the bike, it is 820 mm. And uh, this is how it feels. I'm around close to 5 feet 7, still tiptoeing. And uh, but it feels so uh effortless to ride through the city very easy to maneuver flick around despite the weight it uh, weighs 212 kgs mind you but once you start riding you don't really feel the weight and another thing is the way the weight distribution is done it is slightly front heavy but you don't really feel it but uh, again the uh, trellis frame exposed trellis frame in green really uh, gives you the hallmark of uh, the kind of uh, the beastly character lurking underneath. Again, the tail section is very minimalistic. Uh, it's like the tail of uh, the monster that is ready to slash open the prey. And uh, again, you have the turn blinkers in LED and the Z tail lamp still never grows old, does it? It really gives you a feeling that uh, the Z predator is lurking ahead of you. So this completes a beautiful styling element or uh, overall styling makes it actually predict what kind of a character that looks underneath. Also, you have 4.3 inch color TFT dash, which uh, makes it pretty up to date with its competition. And in terms of features, it comes packed with all the state of the art equipment, 41 mm USD forks that are preload as well as rebound damping adjustable. And then of course, 300 mm dual discs, petal discs up front with better heat dissipation from uh, and you get Nissan calipers up front and uh, Dunlop Road Sport 2 tires and the way the uh, attention to detail uh, carving the elements of the front fender also adds on to the classy or upmarket feel that this bike stands up for. At the back we have the horizontal backlink suspension again with preload uh, adjustability and rebound damping and you have a 250mm rear disc brake again with Nissan caliper. The aluminium swing arm again beautifully carves out and uh, gives it an elegant and classy upmarket look and also adds on to the overall handling uh, characteristics. 
riding pleasure is unparalleled on this naked beast nothing comes close to matching the kind of balance and the weight distribution and also the tire you have a 180 section rear tire which can also accommodate a 190 section tire but uh, better to stick with the stock size to give it the adequate amount of power to weight ratio and also adequate weight distribution front to back so overall i feel this is a loaded beast that redefines value even to this day the star of the show has to be the inline 4 uh, with the perfect background score that makes you go absolutely wow each time you ring the throttle wide open 948 cc inline 4 almost a liter class naked for this kind of pricing is unbelievable and unmatched value and uh, dohc layout 16 valves which means four valves per cylinder and uh, 125 ps of absolute ruthless uh, power at the same time 98.6 newton meters of torque which talks about almost 100 newton meters of torque close to and uh, the way it is available the torque band or the power band being available throughout the rev band is what makes it a th- truly pleasurable riding experience all along now just when you thought it was all over well kawasaki have pushed the envelope and taken it to another level altogether they have offered traction control they have given us riding modes you have uh, sport you have road and you have rain you just need to long press these buttons and then you have a fully customizable rider mode where you can select full or low power and then you have i think three levels of traction control to play with or you can completely turn it off as well i would leave it as one so apart from this even if you want to get into the full menu just press this two buttons together and then you can play around with the vehicle settings i mean just over here you can get into the shift lamp setting immobilizer lamp and uh, you can get back long press to get back to the menu and you have other display service units everything to play around with just get into the display if you want to change the brightness you can increase or decrease the brightness date clock bluetooth and other units and if you want to get back to the main menu just long press it again and you are back to the home page and guess what you get all of this for a unbelievable unbeatable price of under 10 lakhs 9.29 lakhs ex showroom for this almost liter class naked beast that is ready to absolutely unleash mayhem on the streets at the ring of the throttle and how does it do it let's find out by hitting the road now well hello there and uh, i've already done a overview of the brand new 2024 z900 it's time to ride this beast has the right feel changed have they find it fine tuned it better for the year 2024 Let's find out. And uh, for now, let's switch to sport mode. Let the inline four song sing along in the best way possible. beast i call this dst saber tooth it's so damn powerful man and so underrated i mean for this kind of money first of all it's a cbu a uh, completely built unit coming from thailand it comes with adjustable usd 41 mm usd forks uh you know preload and uh, rebound adjustability front and rear and uh, dual 300 mm discs with missing calipers 948 cc it's almost a liter class naked waiting to be unleashed one of the most powerful in its class 125 ps and 98.6 which is almost 100 newton meters of torque i mean that's what and uh, the creamy smooth inline 4 is what makes it an absolute delight in every which way nothing comes close 
to match the refinement of the Z Beast. The Sugomi styling, 17 litre tank, comfortable seat, and a rev counter that wants to light up at the wheel of every throttle. The front wheel wants to lift off at every given opportunity. This, my friend, is the Z Madness for you. Oh, oh, goodness gracious, a machine that can really even in the third gear, that is Z Mayhem for you, I mean, adjustable levers, slipper clutch, ride by wire, riding mode, traction control, a completely customizable rider mode, where you can switch between full power and low power, man, doesn't get better than this it doesn't get better than this and uh, they have updated it with Dunlop road sport 2 tires to offer much more road grip try to be careful playing around with this beast I mean it is so deceptively fast And deceptively dangerous. You're not careful. Man, you are gonna kiss the tarmac in the most royal way possible. Because it's so easy to ride, it is when compared to the first gen model. Now this is a 2024, but I think the 2020 21 model is when it got a complete design overhaul, muscular, more sharper styling when compared to the first gen Z900 which uh, sat very low which has had uh, one of the lowest seat heights people wanted slightly taller seat height uh, well they gave it all to you LED lighting TFT console and uh, well there's nothing you can complain about I mean nothing you can you're know, left wanting for in this beast I mean in this category there's nothing that comes close to match the sheer value that screams out of the Z. And the Z comes shining through in every angle. But you gotta be a little careful turning around. So it isn't lightweight by any means. It weighs 212 kilos for a naked beast. That's quite a lot. But then as said it as dormant as it feels in the lower rpms or uh, when you're just ambling around just the slight feel of the throttle and this is what happens whoa 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 whoa, whoa. you take it easy <laughs> little beast not a little beast by any means it's a massive beast look at the road presence and compared to the likes of the street triple this one looks massive and it almost looks like the flagship uh, naked now which is a ZH2 whoa I just love the feeling the creamy inline floor just screaming The brakes are brilliant for the kind of mayhem this bike has on offer. They made it well and truly controllable by all means. And uh, I just picked it up from a very close friend, just a couple of months old. And uh, we have a new member in the family. Yes, it is my own Z900 manufacturing year MY 2024. And uh, a friend of mine had some cervical issues, so he just got rid of this. Said, might as well pick up such solid 2,000 kilometers ridden 
and uh, boy i've been uh, loving this over the last week i mean loving to rev the hell out of it i thought i'll feature it for you guys because nothing offers more pleasure than an inline four which is like the perfect background score for the moto junkies or the bike junkies out there i mean once you've tasted the creamy smooth refinement of the inline fours it it takes really hard to convince you to go for something else well that's pretty much it a beautiful morning here nice cloudy overcast morning and i have been loving enjoying and riding my zbs to my heart's content more vlogs on these coming up in the days to come and uh yeah happy new year to all of you hope you have a very good year a healthy prosperous and a year where you live your dream rather than compromising it for someone else's sake stay blessed stay awesome because you are the best just the way you are cheers